I also took a trip out to California last week where I held some productive bilateral talks with your leader, Lady Gaga. She was wearing 16-inch heels. I've... She was eight feet tall. It was a little intimidating. Now, I don't have to tell you, you that we have a ways to go in that struggle. We can also be proud of the progress we've made these past two and a half years. We are going to build a more perfect union. I met with Judy Shepard. I promised her we would pass a hate crimes bill named for her son, Matthew. And with the help of my dear friend, Ted Kennedy, we got it done. You should never have to look over your shoulder to be gay in the United States of America. I said that we would lift that HIV travel ban. We got that done. Don't ask, don't tell, it's history. I vowed to keep up the fight against the so-called Defense of Marriage Act. My administration is no longer defending DOMA in the courts. I believe the law runs counter to the Constitution. You've got every right to push against the slow pace of change. But make no mistake, I want people to feel encouraged here. We are making change. There are those who don't want to just stand in our way, but want to turn the clock back who want to return to the days when gay people couldn't serve their country openly, who reject the progress that we've made. Ultimately, these debates we're having are about more than just politics. This is a contest of values. This is a fundamental debate about who we are as a nation. We don't believe in a small America. We don't believe in the kind of smallness that says it's okay for a stage full of political leaders, one of whom could end up being the President of the United States, being silent when an American soldier is booed. We don't believe in that. We don't believe in standing silent when that happens. We don't believe in them being silent since. You want to be commander in chief? You can start by standing up for the men and women who wear the uniform of the United States, even when it's not politically convenient. We believe in a big America, a tolerant America, a just America, an equal America that values the service of every patriot. We believe in an America where we're all in it together. I am confident that's what the American people believe in. I'm confident because of the changes we've achieved these past two and a half years, the progress that some folks said was impossible. And I'm hopeful. I am hopeful, I'm fired up too, because of a deeper shift that we're seeing, a transformation not only written into our laws but woven into the fabric of our society. It happens when a father realizes he doesn't just love his daughter but also her wife. It happens when a soldier tells his unit that he's gay and they tell him they knew it all along and they didn't care because he was the toughest guy in the unit. It, it happens when a video sparks a movement to let every single young person know they're not alone and things will get better. It happens when people look past their ultimately minor differences to see themselves in the hopes and struggles of their fellow human beings. That's where change is happening. And that's not just the story of the gay rights movement, that's the story of America. The slow, inexorable march towards a more perfect union.